Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we'll be taking a look at a smart robot vacuum from Nebot. Now underneath full disclosure, Nebot did send off this robot vacuum for me to use, test and review and then give you guys my thoughts. Now the reason why I said yes to this review and I've said no to a few others in the past, but the main reasons for this one was the way that it looks, it looks classy. Uh, also it has three different suction modes for suction power, so 700 PA, 1200 PA and also 2700 PA. Now, the nice thing about this one as well is that it also has a automatic dust removal bin. So basically what happens is once it returns back home, right before it starts charging, it'll actually back up in reverse and then it'll automatically empty out the dust bin for me and then it'll basically turn right back around and then start charging. Also too, there is laser that's a part of this so it's able to map out your entire room or basement wherever you use this thing. You can schedule off when you want to have the robot vacuum to start cleaning and so many other things even particular parameters or barriers that you want or don't want the robot vacuum to go and it can all be done with just an application and the cool thing is that you can actually watch the line and you can see exactly where it is in your basement even if you're not at home now my review on this one if i was to give it out of a five star is probably right around 4.5 4.6 i'd have to say really almost everything is a perfect five the only thing that would bring it down would just be the price but there is a lot of other people but kind of thinking the exact same thing so here's the reviews off amazon at least the average is a 4.3 out of five star and really the only area that it's not gonna be a five or a 4.6 is gonna be the value for money. Now I'd have to say though, even though it is a little bit more expensive, it does the job right. And it's still here in the basement, still doing its scheduled cleaning every single Monday at noon. Now going back to the price, even though it is a little bit more expensive, the cool thing is that Nebot is giving you guys a discount code. So below the video inside the description, if you click the first link, it'll take you to Amazon. And if you use the code Jimmy is promo for the promo code, then you'll be able to save 10%. Now, the second link that's below the video inside of the description, will take you to a website called Gadget Plus. And if you use the promo code Nebot16, then you'll be able to save 16% on your purchase. So let's head over to the video that I shot of the unboxing and everything that you get inside the box and also watch it in action and take a look at the application. So this way you can see the whole map outline. You can see how long it takes to clean a room and how much battery is used and everything else. So make sure you watch this video because it shows you everything that you need to know. Inside the box, you will get a remote. You also get the batteries for the remote, a quick start guide along with the user guide manual. You also have a air filter, You'll have two additional bags for inside of the dust bin and then a couple extra sweepers. And then of course you do have the robot vacuum itself and most robot vacuums pretty much look the exact same, but this one just has a classy look. And I just love that there's three settings for the suction power. And then that automatic dust bin is just fantastic. It returns home and then it empties the bin automatically. And then inside the dust bin itself, you will have the self-collecting dust bag right there. Right below that is gonna be an open area that's able to have the airflow in and out, uh, just so you know it is a closed compartment, but it's easy to refill the bags and take it out and empty the bags itself. On the back side of the robot vacuum, this is where you'll find your air filter that you can easily replace. There's also a additional tool there for cleaning. Now in regular traditional uh, robot vacuums, this is usually the bin that is collecting dust that you would manually empty. Now this is just a quick demonstration to show you how quiet it is on the low suction, going over into high. So this is my favorite part of the day is going downstairs when it's scheduled cleaning. You can see the lines, you can see the suction power. It's also fluffing up the carpet and also makes the air smell more fresh downstairs. And it's cleaning the carpet good enough that you can see your footprints. So here's an example of the sound. And the sound is on the highest suction, so it is at the 2700 option. As you can see right here, you have strong, regular, as well as small. But then your dustbin emptying frequency, we did put it for less because on more, it did it every single time. Uh, so it's been running for 18 minutes, cleaned 193 square feet. 
and the battery is now at 75%, which it was at 100%. So it went down 25% after 18 minutes of cleaning. But I mean, it does such a good job. And you can see right here, just the map of the outline of our basement. So right there, where it's actually cleaning right now, it went around the chair. This area that's right here is this additional oversized chair that we have in the basement right now. And the other big spot right there is just this full couch. But the thing I love is just how clean this gets it. You can just see the lines. And not only that, but you can just see that it's fresh. So as you step, you will be able to see your footprints as well. So for the sections, it cleaned this first area right over here, this section, right over here, clean this entire section. Now, as it's moving around over there, it's gonna finish this little section here, what is left right there on this map. Now, as it's cleaning, I can pause it, I can resume it as well as end it, or I can just simply hit on the charge icon for it to charge. Then you can set up the schedule. If you wanna set up a schedule, I have this one to clean on Mondays at noon. Then you can take a look at the smart maps if you'd like to select certain areas for it to clean or not clean. You can empty the bin if you feel like it should be pretty full, and then you go inside of the settings. This green dot over here is actually where the bin is at, the charging station area, right over there. And you do wanna make sure that you have at least one or two feet, you know, guidance or clearance around the charging area. This one's cutting it pretty close, but it's done a fantastic job. Now what I love is that after it finishes a section, it heads right back to the next area that it needs to clean. So for some reason, with its route, it did not take up the, the small little area. So my guess is that it's going to finish this small spot here, and then the one right above it, right over here on the very top right hand side, which is going to be right next to the steps area. And then it'll say it's finished and return right back home. So it looks like it may empty the dust bin first. It is a little loud, but it's super cool. Now that the dust collecting has been completed, you'll get your other notification. Turns right back around and charges. So for my full floor right here, 290 square foot it cleaned. Took a total cleaning time of 28 minutes. Went from 100% all the way down to 67 and found its way right back home perfectly. So taking a look inside of the bin, you'll be able to see that this is able to fill up quite a bit in there already uh, that's after cleaning the full floor twice So that's pretty much it for today's video. What did you guys think of the Nebot Smart Robot Vacuum? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you're gonna be picking one up because honestly, to tell you the truth, I would not be pushing this off. I wouldn't be shooting this video if the robot vacuum was not worth it. And you can see the reviews on Amazon. You can also read about them too as well. Get their opinions along with mine. I just think that it does a really good job with cleaning. It can hit areas that I normally wouldn't be able to hit with a regular vacuum. And as well, uh, it's able to go over all these different obstacles. So sometimes with the other robot vacuums, they always got stuck somewhere. This one has not gotten stuck once. It's done a fantastic job. It always cleans it and it goes back and I really don't have to do anything. I can just stay in the other room or not even be home as it's doing its own job. But other than that, let me know if you guys own a robot vacuum or if you're in the market, just write anything dealing with smart vacuums. 
And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.